we've had a walk through every morning uh, that we've been in camp and uh, so we get a lot of mental work during that time and then the afternoon uh, come out and apply it in uh, you know as stressful of a situation situational as we can normal down and distance uh, in all aspects all three phases of the game and uh, then see how we react we threw a lot at them today on both sides of the ball and uh, you know it's we, we also understand the urgency of 28 days from now we're uh, we'll have our first game behind us. So uh, we've got a long ways to go. I'm excited about we provided them a roadmap, and they're uh, absolutely uh, embracing the opportunity to go work. We've had we've had good urgency for three days. Uh, tomorrow will be a challenge because we, you know, a hard practice this afternoon, and then uh, get up early and go go back at it tomorrow morning. So um, I like right now our resolve. Um, you know, we're practicing the way we're supposed to practice. And uh, you know, excited about the competition that we've got across the board uh, in, in every area, and that, that'll continue to make everybody better in the program. Can you talk about what went into the decision to put Eric Laurent on scholarship? You know, a, Eric is a guy that uh, is um, obviously tremendously proud of being a Missouri Tiger, and uh, you know, he's graduated from college and, and uh, you know, a lot smarter than, than uh, I am in, uh, in a lot of areas. But he's just a tremendous worker. Uh, represents our program in, in all the ways we want him to. Works extremely hard on the field and is, is going to play for us. And you know has made has played uh, previously and will continue to do that. And uh, his role in every area on special teams and on offense is uh, very very valuable. It looked like he'd been getting some work with even the first string. I mean, they, you they're rotating. To make a big impact. There? Well, I hope, I hope so. I mean, it's because he's so he's reliable and, and consistent and, and can make plays. Has good ball skills. Uh, and also, you know, his competitive spirit is, um, I'm proud of it. And, uh, you know, so he's done a really good job. And, you know, with, with the receivers, there's so many of them. We're rotating guys with every group. And I want them all to know that, you know, we got to find their spot. You know, if it's slot or an outside receiver, whatever it is, got to find the best mix for us. How good is Demaria Crockett even better than you guys might have expected when you uh, just watch him on film? I, I want him on defense. And uh, <laughs> they want him on offense. He's... He's uh, for three days. He's he's done a lot of really good things, and, and we thought you know Coach Walters recruited him and uh, knew that he had some special skills. And then you get him in a camp and get him in that situation uh, and, and put the ball in his hands. Uh, he's an explosive player, and still, I mean, he's three days in. He's got a lot to learn, but uh, he's he's got uh, he's got a different gear. Where would he play safety? Uh, we won't get him Linebacker. on defense. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'd find a spot for him. Very yeah. soon. No, still with Rex, uh, still working through a couple of the medical things, and uh, you know I don't have no updates from uh, two days ago when we talked. Do you, do you have any details on what it is he's doing? Uh, you know, Rex has got him. I don't. I'm I, with the, the medical uh, kind of where we're at with that. They're they're going through some tests, so uh, you know I don't I don't know enough about the uh, that current situation on you know where he has, is and the, the, the standards of another checkup coming yet here in a couple of days. It looks like Kyle Mitchell and, and Trevor yeah. Sims are getting a lot of work on the depth there at the tackle spots. Are you comfortable with having guys that are fairly new to the program being in those spots? Um, not really. You know, if you if you drew it up, you'd have a fifth-year starter at every spot, and that's, that's not the luxury we have. So I'm excited about what those guys have done for a couple of days, and um, again, with those spots, we got to find the best five, and uh, you know they'll, they'll have every opportunity uh, to go to go win the starting job. Coach, can you put into words the journey that is your offensive line during this camp? I can't. No, um, it's uh, you know Coach Ellerby is is every day we sit and we talk about piecing the you know the, the puzzle together, and we go through every guy on the board, uh, and I go over and watch a little bit on the offensive side and. Um, you know, for one period it's a it's a set group, and then the next period it's somebody completely different. So, you know, it's our again we've got to get the guys in the right spot. I don't think it's wise of us to train a guy just at guard uh, because of you know our, our depth or lack of. We've got to have guys that are cross training in a lot of spots.